Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our team. This week I am building out of Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey, and Simeon is building out of Star Trek Tactics. Uh, thanks to Luke in our Discord server for giving us the only votes for this week's episode. If you guys don't like the teams... It's not our fault. You guys did not vote for characters on our teams. Reminder, you can vote for all the figures on our teams in the comment section of this video. Next week, uh, Simeon is building out of do to do Fellowship of the Ring. I am building out of Star Trek Tactics 2. So start thinking of those figures as we go into these figures. Comment below. Comment our Discord, our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram, wherever. Get those votes in, guys. All right, Simeon, without further ado, why don't you get into your team, my man? Oh, yeah. So... This team's uh, somewhat range-heavy, um, which makes sense for giant starships fighting uh, little goblin dudes. Um, but first up is the Warship Voyager, not to be confused with the normal USS Voyager, which is uncommon. But uh, go ahead and confuse it, Calder, because it's scopes basically the same. I probably will. Uh, so Captain Janeway's crew has the trait... No time for half measures. When warship, voyager, or an adjacent friendly ship attacks, any attack roll of doubles that hits is a critical hit. Doesn't say anything about a critical Ooh. miss, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just assume that crit misses always miss. So uh, any other doubles is a crit hit. 125 points for this bad boy. Nine range, some psychic blast, some poison mid dial, some steel energy, even midder dial. And then the last two clicks, the beautiful combo of ranged combat expert and blades. Not sure how that works, if that if that actually combos mm. as per the WizKids article. I'm going to assume that it does. I can shoot you nine range with blades. Why not? Mm. Um, but yeah, Hope that's, you don't. That's the ship heading up Team Trek. <laughs> uh, next up, we've got the USS Jaeger. Um, this little bad boy is real fast, and that's pretty much all it does. It's got hypersonic top dial, some leap climb, uh, energy explosion, and psychic blast with six range. All energy shield deflection, which will definitely help me against mm. Calder's team. Uh, then I've got the USS <laughs> Equinox, also a running shot, six range, pretty solid. This one does have Indomitable. I don't know. I guess I didn't check. Uh, Voyager has this sharpshooter team ability and Jaeger doesn't have any special combat symbols other than flight. They all have flight. Um, of course, Indom does nothing anymore, but uh, the Equinox has got some decent actual like stats that I think will, it might be the longest surviving ship just because late dial gets combat reflexes that'll help it against close attacks and then top dial it's got some uh, toughness. And then I've got the USS Enterprise A. So this is, of course, uh, yes, that's the good old original series ship, I believe. Oh. Uh, running shot with some enhancement, some perplex mid dial, some more enhancement bottom dial, and of course regeneration because that's what the ship always did: regrew limbs and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Mid dial energy explosion, eight range on that bad boy. And then I've got the USS Sutherland, and all that I know about this one is that Data commanded it for a hot minute. So that's cool. Um, pretty bad attack values, though. Only one with two yeah. lightning bolts, so that'll help a little bit. But uh, eight range, two lightning bolts, pretty bad attack values. And then I'm not going to go for the You can now close Federation. attack with those lightning bolts. <laughs> yeah, I can close attack two people with those lightning bolts. Uh, I'm not going to go over the Federation team ability because it only works against other ships specifically. And Calder chose not to run any ships on his hobbit theme team. So I know, yeah. Pretty fun. So first up, we have the Goblin King, not the uh, not the what if Goblin King, nor is this David Bowie. It is instead the definitely more attractive Goblin King. Uh, sure. Uh, great size, three range, pretty solid. He has an epic action. That's that book. So an epic action is a double power action. Um, let's let's get into it. huh? At the beginning of your turn, give the Goblin King an epic action. The Goblin King can use leadership once for each 200 points of the build total. Each time the result is three through four, the Goblin King can use Perplex, but only to target another friendly character he has not targeted 
uh, this turn. So if I get a mid roll on my two leaderships in this 400 point game, um, I assume that means I get to just roll twice for leadership. Uh, um, yeah, I can use perplex twice, but only to target two different people. That's a great double power action for my 167 point character. <laughs> um, yeah. And he has another trait strongest of the goblins. Goblin King can use energy shield deflection. Uh, oddly helpful in this game, actually. Uh, when Goblin King is the target of Outwit, roll a d6 on the result of 5 through 6. Uh, the Goblin King ignores that use of Outwit. Also pretty good. Pretty cool. This game, yeah. They yeah. Do an, an if, we, outwit. if we scroll down and we see some comments on the Goblin King, we get a, we get a nice back and forth. With a, you remind me of the babe. No, no, no. Scroll back up, Simeon. Uh-oh. Uh, you remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. What power? The power of the voodoo. Who do you do? Do what? Remind me of the babe. Uh, just, <laughs> just great, great uh, realms back and forth. I also see someone saying uh, something about I don't understand why everyone's so psyched about this piece. All of a sudden, he doesn't seem that meta. I'm like, uh, you're no, you're right. He's definitely not. He's just, <laughs> he's just a cool figure. He's the only Goblin King we got. It's a big sculpt. It's a cool sculpt. Anyways. Uh, so that's enough about the Goblin King. Let's go ahead, move on to Golem. He's also tagged uh, in a you... post. I don't think the Goblin King is all that great. Ooh, tempted. It's a bit of a hot take place. right there. Uh, go, we don't have time to go down that rabbit hole this episode, Simeon, or any episode really. This uh, this Golem was a a marquee figure. So we use a little cardboard box uh, next to the Hobbit gravity feed that you would buy. He has a special attack power, which is deep down by the dark water. Golem has the dolphin symbol. Wow. Just got a big buff, the dolphin today. Except, no, it didn't because he already has stealth. So stealth <laughs> is better than, yeah, that's the way it is. Anyways, he has a special defense. Riddles to escape. Golem can use toughness. When Golem would be hit by an attack, roll 2d6 and add it to Golem's attack value. If the result is greater than the attacker's attack result, Golem evades the attack. Um... Yeah, but he's got an eight um, on that first click, which is a little rough, but he's got some outwit, so he's pretty cool. He's all right, little guy. Uh, next up, we have the Orc Swordsman. Let's see what version of the Swordsman Simeon chose for me. Ah, I'll be doing the charge version for sure. Um, wow, yikes, that dial difference. Yeah, um, we'll be doing the Charge Blades Willpower version uh, 100% for my 40-point guy. So check him out. That's his Are you dial. Sure? I think I read um, a comment that said, uh, uh, yes. Oh, no. Must have been on the other dial because nope. they, they have separate <laughs> dials on Realms that you can click on. Oh, yeah. And somebody on the yeah. Perplex dial was like, wow, Perplex just keeps getting cheaper and cheaper. Can't believe this is like 40 points or something to that effect. <laughs> if they only could see us. Oh, now. they only knew. Yeah. They only knew. Uh, the, orc, uh, the Orc Swordsman, or the Orc Bowman, I guess, is next up, huh? Uh, what's, yeah, we're going to go with the running shot energy explosion dial for sure. Yeah, we're gonna go with the running shot energies. Now, this may be a bad call, but we're still gonna go with the running shot energy explosion dial. So yeah, that's that's the dial we're going with. I see we skipped the goblin swarm. How could we? Better go back up to the goblin swarm. That leap climb ESD and then flurry if we had four of them. We only have one, so it's just leap climb with ESD. But don't nine, worry, he can now use two. that leap climb passively. Yeah, he doesn't what have a to guy. take a power action to leap climb. <laughs> he just uh simply a move. Yeah. What a dude. Uh, next up is Yaznig. Yazneg. Yazneg. Yiznik. Yaznig. Yeah. Anyways, he's, uh, I guess he's kind of our heavy hitter besides the Goblin King. This guy's got the best moving attack with the best stats. Charge and Quake. Invulnerability with three damage leadership. It's really good. Uh, Flurry with Close Combat Expert is, <laughs> is actually good now. So that's really cool. So yeah, he's uh, he's going to be a, my sleeper kind of dude. I think this is a Dol Guldor theme team. Do they all have that keyword? Yeah, they do all have Dol Guldor. All right. Uh, I think they also all have Dol Guldor monster, monster. Which so we got a Dol well. Guldor. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, they work the same. Next up, we have the Sting, the Stinger. Now the Sting is going to be is going to be glowing the whole time because there's orcs and goblins all around. Your orcs and goblins going to be using it. So uh, it's a relic roll of five and six. Character can use blades, claws, fangs. When it does, that's period. Just period, it gives me Blaze Close Fangs. When it is given a close combat action, it may modify its attack value plus two. If it does and hits, it must roll for Blaze Close Fangs. 
and the result is a maximum of three. So you can get a plus two attack, then the damage you're dealing out isn't going to be very high. But that's, you know, it's a, that's a fair trade, I would say. And of course, Odinson. This is not that bad. Five points, you choose to modify attack plus two. At least you don't have to roll a d6 to equip it. Oh, but wait, yes. Yes, you do. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't what know. Is... I don't know. <laughs> that's so you weird. You don't have to roll it. A... Oh, you don't have to roll a6. <laughs> so you can roll a five is what he means. Roll us? Oh, yeah. Wow. I got to roll yeah, a whole yeah. five. I guess. I guess that's what he means. Okay, sure. I mean, he's not wrong. Hey, uh, not but all right, be, those are our teams. You're not gonna be laughing when you uh roll a when you roll a five and uh he was correct there. I guess so. Um, I have plus one, two, three, four, five. Simeon also plus five, so it is a wash. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, we didn't roll for teams, so we might as well roll to go first right now. Yes. Ooh, I got a big six. Simeon, big six. Aha, All right. seven. The the Trekkies have it. All right. So we are playing on Goblin Cavern or something along those lines. I don't remember exactly. Um, I believe it's, yeah. To the Goblin Cavern. Yeah, you know. so this is fitting it enough. Um, 400 point game, I don't believe any of my ships have leadership. I have a top dial outwit, a top dial imp uh, enhancement, and other than that, not a whole lot going on. So it's just going to be a bunch of moving up. Uh, the only one that's going to be easy for people to spot is Warship Voyager with its orange background. Uh, and Warship Voyager mm. can go a whole 10 squares. So we're going to have to post up somewhere. We'll go, we'll go right into that hindering there. And since I'm a flyer, I won't have my movement coming out. Not that it matters. Not that it matters. But yeah, it's true regardless. We are up to the uh, fifth, seventh, sorry, seventh rules article today. So that was the change to place and flight. But all the changes to like place and all that wording was just like going forward. We're not going to use it in that way. And all the other stuff is going to work the same. You're like, oh, cool. Thanks. So, yeah, that's where, we're, that's where we're at. Yeah. So not much has changed from this week to last week. It's the good old Equinox, my running shot outwit piece. Moving up next mm. to Voyager. I um, think the Jaeger with the hypersonic. It's only got nine speed, but I'm going to move it down here as well. And let's see, what's my better bet between the Sutherland or the Enterprise? Enterprise has running shot, so does Sutherland. Uh, I think Enterprise is my better bet for the two right now, since I can't swing both of them that far. Uh, it's only eight squares for... Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and... Pop the Enterprise a little closer. I've got mm. the range. I've got the speed. All right, that'll be that'll be it for these giant starships oh, yeah. flying through a goblin cavern. Okay. Uh, the funny thing is, they they physically wouldn't be able to fit in here. I imagine maybe half of one. No, I most guess. of them would actually yeah take up like the same space at least. Mm -hmm. um, and especially with all the blocking. But if the Orville bridge map is all right. anything to be considered, then yeah, just the bridge would be the same, roughly the same size as this cavern. Well, let's get the um, <laughs> the sword. I didn't even notice their names. The sword boy and the pew pew orc uh, moved up. <laughs> Um, would have named them I that. do get a good five actions. Who could have possibly gotten the tokens and named them that? Let's have Golem. Six squares to there. He'll sit on top of Sting. We'll 
move the Goblin King to there. Carry Yazneg to there. One, two, three, four. So we can move the Horde Boys. That's the Horde Boys. The Goblin Swarm six. The, oh, the Horde Boys. Oh my Not gosh! To be confused with <laughs> Matt and <laughs> Jeff. Okay, uh, we've moved up the team. They don't have any uh, powers at all to no perplexes, no outwits, no nothing. So, I mean, I guess Golem does have outwit, but he's not in a good place. So, that is it. That'll be my turn for right now. Okay. I don't have any, like, probs on it. Well, I do have, I guess we both have theme team probs. Uh, we each have three. Um, but I have no other way to really re-roll anything and I'm not liking my I'm not really liking my stats a whole lot yes so I think I'm gonna go for a somewhat biggest shot right off the bat and let's get my enhancement in place so the Enterprise A Got a speed of eight and a range of eight, so I can move four. We'll go down here. And we're going to take a shot at the Goblin King. So Is that a uh, pen blast? Which one is that again? Uh, Enterprise A just has a blank attack right now, so it's just a 10 for 3. Oh, so. okay. Ooh. Mm. It is a 6. But, uh, when Warship Voyager or, oh, it's not adjacent. Ah, foiled again. If only I had been adjacent <laughs> to Voyager, that would have been a crit hit. That would have been pretty sweet. Uh, so that will. Oh man, we were lucky then. But I'm mostly just positioning my enhancement where I want it. So, uh, Enterprise A is my ship with enhancement. I think the Equinox has six range. The Jaeger has six, but that's with hypersonic. So, one, two, three. So that's not awesome. Um. So we'll go with the Equinox for my follow-up attack. We'll running shot one, two, three to here. Let me just double, yeah. Ten speed. Okay. Ten speed, six range. We will also target the Goblin King. Pretty sure someone won worlds with him, so I want to get him out of here as soon as possible. Right. He is meta, as they say. Ooh, a 9. That'll hit an 18. Oh, wow. Which I think misses with your... Well, thankfully, ESD. I have ESD, yeah. Uh, uh, um, and then... I will get the Sutherland into position. It's got 8 speed, 2 lightning bolts. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. Um, I don't really have any reason to move the Voyager, so I'll go ahead and clear Voyager. Oh, put a blue token on Sutherland. And let's see how many squares I can get with Jaeger. It has, I think it's nine speed. 9 speed, 9 attack, 2 damage, so I'm not doing a whole lot. Yeah, I'm just going to clear my Jaeger as well. Don't really feel like leaving it mm. out in the open. All right. Uh, so beginning my turn, let's roll for Yazneg's Leadership. Three, it's gonna fail. Let's roll for the willpower on the sword boy. Two, gonna fail. That's all right. It is what it is. It's whatever. Okay. 
Uh, Yasmik does have nine speed, so. You know, we can get uh, pull off a little uh, little charge quake action going on here. I think that's probably what we'll do. First, we're going to have Golem try to roll for uh, for Sting. Oh, it was almost a five. Man. <laughs> Which it will succeed on. Don't need that. Six. Which it will succeed on. Uh, so Golem will not be picking up Sting this game. Bit of a Bit of a bummer, I would say. All right, well, we can always try with somebody else. Let's go ahead and have Yaznig charge to here. Charging, quaking. That's a single D6. That's wrong. Let's give him a blue token. All right, let's roll it up. Ooh, Nine. good roll, good roll. That'll hit 19s. That is definitely going to hit. So that is and... Enterprise A. In the equinox that'll knock them both to two, since they both have toughness do you want to do knockback damage uh that is not my choice anymore it does not exist or uh, not knockback damage uh just do you mean to move the enterprise because this is the sutherland right you wanted to move the enterprise here because of enhancement you didn't want the sutherland being here oh i think i oh right yeah I thought I grabbed the Sutherland <coughs> first turn, so it should be. Wow. Uh, what would the Sutherland have even done? Let's see. It does have nothing. It has two damage. So... I imagine. Yeah. It does a running shot. It still could have done that action. But, but uh... yeah. That was yeah. I grabbed the wrong ship. Would have killed the Horty boys. Um. Okay. So the Equinox and the Enterprise take one damage. I already healed the Sutherland back up to one. Okay. That's Yaznig. That's Golem. Man, the Goblin King, I don't know. Um, he can move. He doesn't really want to be outwitted or anything. Um, I don't know what he's gonna do back there though. So let's see. I see he's better off at range. Doesn't really want to base anybody. Which one of these had sharpshooter? Was it the Voyager? Yeah, Voyager is the one with sharpshooter. Voyager, okay. Hmm. But it can't move, right? It's sort of stuck there. No move and attack, yeah. It does have does still have an eleven attack, which is a little scary. So I think we're gonna leave the Goblin King. We're gonna move up the sword boy. One, two, three. okay, yeah. Let's move him there. Let's move you there. And then we're going to clear Goblin King and the Horde. And it is your go. All right. I've only got three ships that are available to do stuff. Uh, kind of want to take a shot at good old Yazneg. Um, so now I have the Sutherland available with its surprisingly awesome two damage. Um, Warship Voyager does have Psychic Blast, but I don't think I have a line of fire on anybody currently. No. Uh, I could... I could take a shot at Pew Pew Orc. Um, mm. If I move my guy out of the way first. So the Sutherland will have to do that just so I have some actions to actually take this turn. Uh, energy explosion with two lightning bolts. And I can move four squares before I do that. So I could theoretically go here, try and energy explode those two. Or I could go here, energy explode that guy. I don't want to energy explode that guy. That's bad for me. Especially they both have both invulnerability. Goblin King and yeah. Yazbeg. That's a real bad. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be a great pick. Um. So yeah, we're gonna 
We're going to drag the Sutherland out of port and to its own demise, most likely. One, two, three, and four squares to here. And then dual target, energy explosion, uh, the sword boy, and the pew pew orc. So that's a nine attack okay. into their numbers. I think they both have 16. Ah. Yeah, they both have a 16. You have seven. Average roll. Ah, another double. <sighs> Those doubles. <laughs> Those doubles again. With Voyager nowhere to be found. Uh, <laughs> we will have the Voyager, worship Voyager, uh, try and psychic blast the pew pew one. It's an 11 for three. You can't prob it with the Sutherland himself. It's true. I just... Uh, you only get three, though. Yeah. You only get three. Only having three is the, the rough part. Uh, I have to be... Yeah. I cannot, especially the fact that I can I can prob stuff with two action tokens now. It's yeah. Like, I don't know. It's pretty good, but only having threes the hard part so we'll see what voyager can do uh does the, the arrow orc orc archer does he have energy shield uh no just toughness oh, so you'll okay. blast right past that we sh certainly will yeah. try ah a sixth so that'll be uh, that should is 17 right yes that is a 17 for the yeah ship voyager I'll take I'll take that orc down to click four. All right, and my last action that I can do is with the Jaeger, who's a nine speed hypersonic, nine attack with energy explosion and seventeen ESD with two damage. So, uh, does the pew pew orc have? Any reduced he just has a 16. Bear 16. Okay. No. Then we will... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't even need to get that close. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll go to there and take a shot. Four squares. Okay. I still have five left for my speed. My hypersonic speed. Uh... Nine into a sixteen. Hey. Ooh, you got it. Two Is that for two or more? Yeah, for two. Yeah, that will uh, be all she wrote for the old pew pew orc. All right. I'll go finish my hypersonic. Uh, five, six, seven, and eight, nine. One, two, three, mm. four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Um, and let me double check, make sure Enterprise has perplex, so it will perplex down Yaznegs the or Yaznegs uh, attack. And mm, no. So that's Enterprise Equinox has. Ooh, exploit weakness with an eight attack. It also has plasticity right now. Mm. So watch out for that. Uh, they'll both. I'm not going anywhere. Them. Okay. All right. Sweet. Well, uh, we don't need to roll for leadership at all, so we can go ahead and roll it for sword of boys. Willpower. See what happens. Oh no, that's a four. All right. Well, we tried. Wanted to avenge his uh, his other orc buddy, but it did not happen. Didn't work out that way. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, no matter where I go, because I'm tall, you're gonna see. You're gonna see the Goblin King. So we might as well stay at range. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and plop the Goblin King right there. You know what? He might as, well be, might as well be next to his buddy just because of leadership and everything. Um, let's say the Goblin King can carry the Horde. 
So that's fine. Portal move to there. And then we'll have Yaznig uh, Quake again, for sure. See see how that goes. He's only a 9 attack now, but could roll something pretty good. Oh, hits 15s. Probably probably misses, I imagine. Let me double check. Uh, 17 for Enterprise, 16 for Equinox. So yes, both are still safe. All right, let's... <laughs> Ah, uh, no, nah, we won't prob it. All right, we'll clear the Sword Boy and Golem with that. It is your go. And Yasnik gets a second action token. All right. Um, let's see here. Sadly, uh, the Enterprise and the Equinox... Both are at two damage right now, so no perplexing up damage means that uh, I'm not damaging either person I'm next to. Except the Equinox does have exploit weakness, so it's possible. It's not super likely, but it's possible that I can do something. Um, we'll have the... What's the defense on Yasneg? Uh, it is a 17 invulnerability. 17 and boom. Make that a 16. I'd only need an 8. Yeah. Seems like a long shot either way. Uh, we'll, we'll attempt it. We'll perplex down Yasneg's defense by 1 with the All Enterprise. Right. And we'll attempt to exploit uh, with the Equinox. Eight attack. Ah. Good thing mm. I reflexed him down. Uh, that'll hit a, a whopping 13 defense. Uh, the Enterprise has nothing else to do now. That's cool. I could potentially hit, crit hit one of them, but that's fairly unlikely. Uh, I think we'll hypersonic with the Jaeger to here. And go after the Horty Boys. My new mm. attack. That'll Ooh, that sick. that will uh, slaughter the Horty Boys. They are no more. Okay, and... I think as a follow-up, uh, I'll finish my hypersonic speed. Just uh, one whole square back. And mm. Voyager will attempt to Psychic Blast the Goblin King. My 11 okay. three, hopefully get doubles. Oh, it's not doubles, but that, that does hit. Ooh. That's, that will sadly hit. So we're going to have to use one of our theme props with the Goblin King, going down to two to make you reroll that. Uh, 16 wins. Not as bad as better. Miss. Um, it's much better. I'll have Voyager reroll it themselves. So we'll be at an even two. Ooh. Two probs each left. Uh, 17 also won't do it. Let's just clear the Sutherland. And yeah, I don't see a reason to give Enterprise an action token, so... Leave that one there. So the Enterprise clears and the Equinox needs a token, right? For doing the exploit? Or was it the other way around? Oh, was the Enter Enterprise the exploit? Yeah, I was confused. No, it was... I gave the action to the wrong one. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. All these ships look the same on the sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah, that's fair. That's pretty fair. Okay, uh, Yaznig's leadership. The only D6 roll that matters, and we got it. Let's get to take a token off of the Goblin King. Very cool. Very cool. 
Let's uh, have Golem move one, two, three, four to here. And we're going to have Golem outwit the defense on uh, the Voyager. That's what it is. Yes. I believe the Voyager doesn't have stealth, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. And let's go ahead and have the Goblin King shoot it with his three range. Giant size. Uh oh. We need a uh, is it seventeen. It is I don't think anybody on your team is eighteen. Yeah, it's right? a seventeen. Yeah. All have seventeens. Like to start. Yeah. Yeah. At highest, they're all seventeens. Oh. Here's our there's our big eight for for a big three damage. Three. Goblin King did not like getting shot at. Yeah, I have. I'll throw another theme team prob at it with uh, Voyager, just to try and stay okay. off that damage. Because that's mm, just one less miss. Ooh, I think it's lucky. Lucky seven. So I'll go to click four with the Voyager. Oh wait, I am in hindering, but you're making a close attack, right? Um, no, I don't, I'm only uh, giant size. So I think that would miss, right? I would have an eight Because I'm not a colossal. So yes, I would need to prob that. Well, the Goblin King himself prob it. We'll go for that. Ooh, and that will miss. We could waste, we could waste another prob. We'll have Golem prob it. I really want to hit this. See what happens. That'll do it. Out of probs now, though. 100% out. I have one left. I don't know what I'm going to use it on yet, but it'll probably fail spectacularly. Okay. All right. Uh, so that was a lot of work. And then we'll see, we'll see if it, in the long run, we'll see if it pays off. Uh, that's two actions. Next up, Sorty Boy is just going to go ahead and charge to there. Uh, he's a nine attack. Sutherland's rocking at Blades you. Blades Claw's Fang. Toughness. So we, we got to roll Blades. And we need to roll pretty high. Ooh. That, will that is doubles. That is very nice. And then we get to roll some Blades, which is going to be, ooh, a big four. Big four. So three after toughness. All right. Go to click four. That'll put me on my dual target incapacitate click. And then we get to clear Yaznig. Yaznig. However you say it. Yes, yes. Good. Um... Uh... I just realized I would not have been able to perplex anybody down. It's a good thing I didn't hit. Enterprise cannot see Yaznig to perplex. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blocking. Yeah. There's an entire starship and a wall in your way. Goodness gracious. I'm glad Simeon was paying attention. <laughs> because ships. I wasn't. They just look like little gray things with prongs. Um, yeah. If only there was a function that would allow me to zoom in on them. Uh, so we will have, let's see what we've got going on here. Enterprise does have perplex still. Equinox still has its exploit, which I'll have to use. Um, the Jaeger still has hypersonic. Voyager now has close combat expert and poison. Still no move mm -hmm. attack. Mm -hmm. And the Sutherland has enhancement and incapacitate um, I think we'll start with trying to break away with the Sutherland because I guess I do have two damage but yeah we'll try and break away see if I get lucky with that one no okay Ooh. Mm. and so then let's just Uh, we'll have the Enterprise perplexed down the Goblin King's defense. 
and we'll have the good old Equinox try and exploit him. I will need a decent attack value because the Equinox has an 8 attack with its 2 damage exploit. So you're perplexing up the Equinox then? or Oh, no, no, no. Goblin King. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's a big guy. Uh, I'm guessing a 15 will miss. That will miss. And I think I'll, I'll attempt to break away the Enterprise just to give it something to do. Mm -hmm. You got it. It'll go. Uh, let's just go right here. That'll work for now. And I'll clear mm -hmm. my Jaeger. Or Golem. And the Voyager. Okay, uh, let's roll for Yazneg's leadership. Uh, nope. Let's roll for Sword Boy's willpower. Hey, there it is. Five on the willpower. Uh, and with that, we'll start with Sword Boy. Uh, you said it was what for defense on the Sutherland? It now has a... Sutherland is rocking a uh, 16 energy shield deflection. Okay. That's good for us. All right. We are now with Blades. See if we can roll a 7. Ooh, we can in spades. Very good. Um, and if you don't want to prop it, I'll roll blades. Yeah, I'll let it lie. Yeah. And that is another four. Another good four. Just a, just a simple sword boy cutting a ship in half. Mm. Uh, next up, let's go... What does the Equinox have toughness? The Equinox, I think it does. It's on click two right now. So it yep. has a 16 toughness with its uh, 16 plasticity. Tough. Yeah, let's have Yaznag go ahead, take a punch. 10 to a 16, three damage. Just, uh, we'll quake. Ooh, that'll miss. And there's nothing I can do about it yep nothing i can do about it um the jaeger what is the jaeger rocking for defense right now they have 17 or and the enterprise a uh 17 with energy shield and the enterprise mm. a has a 17 with toughness uh we're gonna outwit the toughness with golem and we're gonna have the Goblin King uh, punch the Enterprise A. See what happens. That'll hit an 18 for three damage. All right. I will take it. Go to click five with the Enterprise. And then we're going to have Golem. I think he's uh, still only an eight for one. But we're going to have him try to punch you anyways. What is your defense looking like now? 16 with regen. Okay. It's good. It's good for us. We can deal one damage there. That will hit a, that will hit a 17. All right. I will take my one damage and go to click six. <laughs> All right. I'll give Golem a second token. And that is everybody on my turn. They all did something. So it's your go. Let's see, one, two, three. Got some decent options with that. Uh, the Enterprise will attempt to regenerate itself, as it does in the show. Two whole damage, so it'll go back up to click four. Uh, let's see here. On click four, I think it gets its... It's back on toughness uh, has enhancement. I didn't heal up to my my perplex, sadly. Um, let's see. Voyager. Not doing a whole lot. 
Uh, let's see. Got close combat expert toughness. Let's we'll fly the Voyager to somewhere. We'll go we'll go behind Gollum. Hmm. Seems like a solid option. Okay. And okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Then my Jaeger is going to can't hypersonic energy explosion, and I can't damage a whole lot of people if I do. So my Jaeger's just going to hypersonic one, two, three, four. I'll go five to here and attempt to punch Gollum with my nine for two. Okay. Ah. Mm. Not sure how much Gollum's his dial doesn't really change, right? He's got like the same thing as whole dial. Ah, uh, uh, he has the riddles to escape for a while. He moves on to some perplex. He gets some uh some exploit steel energy down dial. He always has stealth. You almost knocked him off the dolphin symbol. Wow. Uh, that would have been big. That would have hurt. I'll leave that roll as is mm -hmm. right now. I think I'm going to need it later. Uh, so I'll just clear the Equinox is all. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's all I can do this turn. All right, let's do uh, Yazneg's Leadership. And then Sword Boy's Willpower. Ooh, Willpower rolls coming in pretty clutch, not going to lie. Let's go ahead and have him go one, two. Uh, charge to here. Gonna have him do a nine to the Enterprise is uh, something. I think it's a 16 times. And try to blades. So we need an eight will hit. Mm. And then we only deal one damage. So we gotta, gotta roll blades. Oh, for a big two. So one. Go to click five. Great. Amazing. So cool. I guess we could have outwitted that toughness because, uh, yeah, there would have been nothing else to outwit. We will instead, let's see, go and see all three of these guys. What have they got right now? What's a what's a thing to have? We'll do the, is this guy a close combat expert, right? Uh, close combat on, uh, expert and poison on Voyager. Hypersonic toughness mm -hmm. on Equinox. Or on Jaeger, not Equinox. Um yeah. Energy shield on or on Jaeger, and then Equinox has. Oh, you can't see him. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, we'll get rid of the uh, close combat expert then, and then let's have Yasne go ahead and punch the Equinox. Oh, that was almost a crit miss. That was close. Equinox still. That would have sucked. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and clear. Sixteen toughness. <laughs> yeah, clear the goal and clear the Goblin King. It is your turn, Simeon. All right. Does Gollum have any reducers, or can I poison him? Uh, he has toughness. Uh... Thanks to his special defense power. Riddles to escape. We will your ship cannot figure to... out <laughs> uh... what, what <laughs> stores a golden treasure inside. But has no lock and has no key. Yet can be opened, or however that riddle goes. Yeah, it's an egg. I think that was. It is an egg. How dare you? Exis. How dare you spoil the Hobbit for the yeah, viewer? Spoiler alert for a. Book Sorry, that's guys. Been out spoilers for, for the Hobbit. A movie that's been out. For yeah. Multiple times for, for several almost 10 years, years or decades, depending and on which version. The book. It's been out for a very long, very long time. Um, 50, 40 years. Who knows? We'll have the Jaeger Probably longer. to punch Gollum. Because okay. if, it, if I roll doubles with the Voyager right there, it's a crit hit. So I want that. Mm. Uh, that'll hit a So what is that? 16. Ooh, I think luckily Gollum is a 17. 
So he's hanging in there. He doesn't even get to use his special defense power. He's just getting really lucky with rolls. Mm, let's see. And I guess the Voyager without close combat expert, the Voyager's just a one damage. So we'll go ahead and prob the Jaeger's attack there. My my final prob. Okay. Ah, crit hit. Oh, that is Simeon. Double no. Ones. So well, I mean, technically, based on the roll, <laughs> uh, that'll actually take Let's, the uh... off of hypersonic. So I wasn't hypersonicing anyhow, but yeah, I'll go to click two with the Jaeger. Um, Ooh, I guess the Equinox will go after. Whoever this guy is, the uh, Yaznurig, Yaz, Yaznog. Yaznag. I'll Yaznag. attempt to exploit him. Still have All the ladies attack. exploit Yaznag, poor guy. Okay. You need a nine or higher. Um, oh! Close. I was so close, Simeon. That was close. Voyager can't damage anybody. Enterprise can't do anything, so we will clear the Enterprise and clear Voyager. All right, uh, we're gonna roll for Sword Boy's willpower two. Uh, do you have toughness on the on the Enterprise A right now, or what's the that? Enterprise what's that looking like? A, yes, it has sixteen toughness. Or no, uh, you knocked it off the toughness onto regen, so it's a sixteen regen. Hmm. All right, so we'll hold off our outwit. We're going to have a sword boy go ahead and punch. Ooh, that was also almost a crit miss. He will miss that. He'll whiff it. Give himself a token. Uh, let's have Gollum punch the Enterprise A because he's got no reducer. Eight attack. We'll hit a 16. That'll wow. Enterprise to click six again. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and have the Goblin King uh, delete the Enterprise, finally. We'll have him punch the Enterprise here. Ten to stuff. Mm, hits a 17. That will take out the Enterprise, sadly. Uh, and then we're going to have Golem uh, outwit the uh, leap climb on the egg. No, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, let's have Golem... What is the Voyager? Still uh, with the close combat still, expert. Yeah. Close uh, combat yeah. Person, um, toughness. We'll have to outwit the close combat expert for sure. Okay. Then clear you, Mr. Yaznig. Here we go. All right. Equinox. Going for the, the big hit. Uh, trying to exploit Yaznig. Oh, that'll do it. It's an 18 for two whole damage. For for two, so you guys click three. And uh, I guess the Voyager could roll doubles against Gollum, so we'll attempt to punch Gollum with the Voyager. No. Mm, so close. 17. Close. But... Uh... It will... It will hit a 17. It just the golem yeah, will just reduce it. Damage. Sadly. Um, and then, yeah, I have to clear the, the Yeager. Uh, Yeager. Not a lot going on. So, yeah, that's that's all I got so far. Man, mm. this Federation's kind of a... All right. Uh, a poor, poorly put together coalition, in my opinion. Mm. Uh, willpower roll doesn't make it. So we're going to have Yazne go ahead and try to punch the Equinox. He's a still a 10 for 3. No Quake. He does go down to 16 toughness, though. On his defense, he rolls a big 11. Oh, that'll definitely hit wow. the Equinox. Amazing. I'll reduce it by 2, going to click 4. What is the Equinox rocking on click 4? I have 16 with combat reflexes. Flurry with... Uh, Nine attack, steel energy, and mm. two damage without wit. 
All right, let's see if the Goblin King can shoot you off of that. 10 for tree. Ugh, all right, 17. That will hit for three damage. That will delete the Equinox. Ah, uh, good. Good. Uh, let's have Golem out with the toughness on the USS. Or sorry, not even that. It's Warship Voyager. Warship. And uh, we'll try to punch it. Punch him with Golem. Oh, wow. 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 Some good rolls. That will hit for one damage. Creepy cave troll, man. And we'll clear Beating our sorty ship. boy. Right. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, it had its actually, exes. I actually do have options with the the warship voyager and by options i mean i statically have a 10 for two because my close combat expert um options mm. so yes. warship voyager will attempt to punch Gollum. uh yeah i also have steel energy so i will heal one if i manage to hit Ooh, that's good oh, simeon The Jaeger will That's pretty bad. To punch Gollum. <laughs> hey. Um, there you go. Um, so what is your attack value right now? The Jaeger has... I'm pretty sure it's a... Yeah, it's a 9. It's almost its whole dial, so... Uh, that'll a 9. Be a 17. So it hits exactly a 17, which means Gollum, uh, with his 8 attack, needs to roll a 9 or higher to avoid it. Oh, so close. No, he will take a damage. That was a high roll too. That was kind of a waste of a waste of a high roll. No longer any outwit on Golem. I'm just perplexed. Just still good. Um, still give, fine. I don't think I gave Jaeger an action this turn. I don't remember. All right. For my go, Golem will perplex up his own defense. Sword Boy is going to move one, two, three, four, five on top of uh, Sting. <laughs> and then we're going to clear everybody else. He does need more options for Blades. Absolutely. All right. I, <laughs> and it's your guess, I mean. I will also clear. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no. Mm. No support powers right now, so... I will just clear both ships. I'm a little mad uh, at both right. We are size. going to have Golem. It's like uh Yeah. They got like magic school bus ships and shrunk down to to people size. Mm. And now they're getting beat up by a slightly naked cave creature that used to be a hobbit. Other spoiler alert. For for Fellowship of the Ring. For, no, for not Gollum. Fellowship of the Ring. For what's it called? Uh, no, what's the first one? Is the first one Fellowship of the Ring? Well, the, the first Hobbit, one is there and back again. Something is else. where Bilbo first meets uh, Right. Gollum. Fellowship is... No, 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 no. no. no like not for Gollum. But we don't, we don't learn that Gollum is... Oh, no, okay. well, we don't learn that Gollum is a Hobbit in The Hobbit, though. We learn he's a Hobbit in, like, one of the... Lord right. of the Rings ones with the Frodo. Did not they the Bilbo. say he was a Hobbit? Yeah, with Frodo. Yeah, with that one. Yeah, like two towers. I don't know. It's been like five. Knows. It's been like five or six years since I've seen Lord of the Rings, and I have no want or desire to ever watch those movies again. It's so quite a bit to get through. I mean, they're they're yeah, great to watch one time. It's, it's, they're very long. The soundtracks are really cool. Sometimes I just rewatch the opening scene of. Yeah, uh, people already don't like. Nah, people don't already like my movie opinions enough, so I'm not going to talk <laughs> about it. So, let's instead have Sword Boy uh, roll for willpower, and succeed. That's what I'm talking about. More consistent rolls. I don't know. If he's uh, ever let's had have two Sword Boy. This game. He's pretty. He's pretty on. <laughs> he has. He has had him once. But now um, he has to roll back to back. Yeah, sixes. it's pretty crazy. Oh wait, no. He can back get to back sixes five. or yeah. Oh no. <laughs> The comment section comes back to Sting. Haunt. 
Oh, man. All right. Well, there's no sting for Sword Boy. No, I'm just going to stay up in the round. Only Yasneg and uh, the great go- the Goblin King can roll for it. Let's have uh, Goblin King punch Yeager. Tattle, that's 19. Which nine you want to go with? Uh, so that'll deal three. Puts Jaeger I don't know why I rolled two, but let's just say, yeah, 19. So click Nice. Uh, that means it's Golem's time to freaking punch this guy. Oh, but nine. But wait up. For one. The Jaeger has shape change. Oh, no. Sorry. Okay. Is it a ship? Is oh, it shoot. Well, I rolled a five. Oh, okay. Uh, a five. <laughs> With an eight attack. Does, does a 15 hit? Does, it's wait. a nine. It's a nine now that he's on click two. Yeah. A the attack goes miss. up, Simeon. So 15 hits? A 15, Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, 15 hits, but a 14 will miss. Right. But Golem's on click two because you hit him. And he's got a nine attack. Yeah, you rolled a six. Or no, a five. So it'll... You rolled a five, right? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> wait. No, no. I rolled six. I rolled a four and a one. I rolled a four. No, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, wait, yeah. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Really, guys. Guys, yeah, it's, it's pretty really hard. It's, it's... I drove like seven hours today, guys. All right. That misses. Yes, Nick's gonna, uh, it's gonna charge. I don't know, like like this somehow. All right. Try to target. Yeah, it's fine. Try to target the year. All right. Shape change. Okay. That was my only defense. Uh, that will have that will hit. Eight attack. The, He's uh, got a good a good ten. The Yeager. Will, will be no more. All it's, right. It's down to Janeway and Chicote and uh, Seven of Nine. They're the only ones left. Okay. I'll pretend I know what those words mean. It's the crew. All right. Well, I don't it's, know if it's the crew of the it's your go. Wager. I honestly don't even know your go. what the difference is. Uh, Warship Voyager. You're really letting all the cookies down. It's got a... Uh, what's Yasneg got for defense right now? Uh, 16 tough. Okay, that's... It's more doable, so... Which is... We'll go uh, after him. Technically uh, easier to hit than Golem, yeah. yeah. I'm a 10 for 2 still with my close combat expert and my steel energy, so we'll attempt to hit him. A 17... For, that will hit. For that one will hit. damage, I for will one? heal. Does he still have toughness? Click four. Um, let me see. Click four. No, I have willpower on click four. Ah, then I will poison him for one. Going to click five. Poor Yasnik. Yeah, but you didn't see that. Voyager coming back. Ooh. <laughs> I have no way of damaging the Goblin King, but. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, Sword Boy, uh, rolls for willpower. Fails. Yasnig now rolls for willpower. Succeeds. Mm. Cool. Um, to Yasnig, uh, try to, let's have the Sword Boy charge to here. Going after the Voyager. Uh, nine to stuff. Seventeen toughness. That'll hit. It hits, it hits that seventeen toughness. A one Rolls blade, that blades. Oh no! Oh, wow! <laughs> wow! Four damage from click four. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So five down to four. One, two, three, four. I am still alive on click eight. I wonder if Goblin King move one, two, three, four, five, carrying Yasneg, putting him there. Why? Why you? T- why would you? T- oh, we're going to clear. <laughs> we're going to clear Golem. 
<laughs> and it's and it's your go. All right. Uh. <laughs> um. What is Sword Boy's defense, and what's Gollum's defense? What are my options uh, here? It's it's uh, Gollum's is sixteen with toughness, and his whole if he rolls higher than you, he'll evade it. And Sword Boy is a sixteen with willpower. Okay. We will attempt. And to... you do have the sharpshooter. Yeah, I have sharpshooter, so... so I'm gonna use my uh, ranged combat expert. So I'm a nine for two, and I'm gonna shoot Sword Boy with the Voyager. Mm. It's a photon torpedo for you. Ha ha ha! Ooh, two damage, that will Sword hit. Boy. You're on click three. Oh, he's on click three. Okay. Uh, that's all I can do. <laughs> he, he goes past his one click where he doesn't have blades, which was why it was so important for him to pick up the Orcus. Um, all right, uh, let's have Yaznig roll. See if you can pick up Orcus. Ah, oh, damn. All right. Uh, it's two. Uh, let's have Golem perplex down his attack value. Uh, and try to swing against Voyager. Uh, that will hit a 14. That'll miss by one. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Uh, and then we're going to clear Goblin King and Sword Boy. And it is your turn, Simeon. All right. I am going to clear. Mm. Uh, we're going to have Yazneg go ahead and move one, two, three. There. Goblin King moves on top of Sting. Golem perplexes up uh, the attack value on Voyager, and it is your go. <laughs> I was going to perplex your damage, but I can't do that anymore. Well, in that case... Um... We're going to attempt to blades go uh, Gollum. So I have a nine yep. with blades. Uh, that will hit. That will hit. Now blades. I've got a 16. I got a nine attack. You rolled a 19. I need to roll less than a 10. The Gollum fails. So you can go ahead and roll blades. Three Big three. damage. Increasing. Go on taking two. Go on for four. One. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. <coughs> uh, uh, let's have Goblin King uh, roll. Well, first of all, let's have Yasmeg roll for willpower. Sure. Let's have Goblin King roll to pick up Sting. No, oh, come on. All right. Uh, well, that was my last guy that could roll to pick up the Sting this game. So, uh, Sword Boy is kind of our MVP, um, but also the prospect of me dressing up as Golem At is very tempting. I mean, six to equip it. Famous last words of Otis very tempting. One three zero three. Right. <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to cosplay anybody from these. I mean, not these guys. Yikes! I don't know about I don't know about Goblin or Gollum here. I guess I guess I'd rather do Sword Boy. Not really. You say that like you have a either. choice. Like Warship Voyager um, isn't still in this fight, ready to completely decimate your team. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, Sword Boy is gonna go ahead. Uh, roll an attack here. All right, that'll hit. Uh, let's see. Does it actually? Uh, he's in nine attack. Yeah, it'll hit. I will roll blades, even though he only has one damage. Uh, that's a six. Whoa! Oh wow! Simeon uh, rolled I that D zero. I saw a zero roll. <laughs> so the Voyager <laughs> will take no damage. Is that what I'm seeing here? No How could damage. I forget my my D six that has zero through five? How can how could I forget? Uh, that will that will be the end. <laughs> Of the starship warship Voyager. Um, another epic Golden Age brawl has come to a close. 
reminder, you can vote for what figures we use on our teams. On Twitter, Facebook, Discord, in the comment section of this video. Guys, 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 guys. Vote. It's the only important thing to vote for ever in your lives is what we play on this team. Simeon is building out of Fellowship of the Ring. I'm building out of Star Trek Tactics 2. Don't let Lord of the Rings win again next week. You want Star Trek to make a comeback, a.k.a. you want me to win again? <laughs> Let's do it. Because right now, it's not really looking good for anyone that plays Star Trek against Lord of the Rings. No. Um, so, yeah, not. guys. Vote. Vote. Uh, make sure to vote. Because otherwise, Luke is just going to keep making our teams for us. Thankfully, he voted for rounded for teams this week. Teams, yeah. Otherwise, for two full teams of 400 points. Otherwise, we would have been lost. We would have been lost in the sauce, fellas. So, yeah, please make sure to vote, subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. If you enjoy the YouTube videos, if you want to support us, give us money, you can do so on Patreon.com. And like always, make sure you uh, follow Dally for Hero Clicks on all those wonderful platforms. You can see when we post that there's a new uh, Thursday Throwdown. And make sure to hit that, hit that bell, that bell notification. All right, guys, seriously, that is all. Like always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, uh, this gives you a little bit of a grasp for the new rules. They haven't been crazy apparent, especially in these Golden Age games, uh, but we really appreciate you guys uh, and your viewership. So, happy trails.